Right, we're now talking about the next steps of training with uh, with uh, Oscar and Dexter. But Oscar is now called Bailey. He's been rehomed with one of our handlers uh, who is bringing him on to be actually on a course in May to become a, a fully trained police dog. <laughs> uh, Dexter's coming along a little bit slower because I'm bringing him on for a course in September and he's actually got a slight injury at the moment, so he's being nursed along. With Bailey today, we need to start him on a thing called tracking, which is tracking human scent. Um, he's at the very early stages of this and this is something that we'll be pushing and pushing and pushing in the next few months. So we get him up, uh, what he needs to learn is that if he follows a scent pattern, he gets something at the end of it. So the, as we're walking along, we're actually leaving a scent pattern. Everybody's got an individual scent pattern. It can be where you work, what clothes you've got on, the perfume you wear. It all gives you a very individual scent. So what we're teaching the dog to do is actually follow one of these patterns. Uh, and he gets a reward at the end of it. The other things we do is uh, get them to search for items of property that might have been discarded um, and to find people and to let the handler know when they found them by barking. Uh, they, they actually start barking to say, look, I found somebody and the handler can then go and find them. Teaching him how to go after human scent. Um, as you could see from the film, he's quite happily. The dog doesn't have any reason to go in a straight line, other than it's following something. Um, other, they'd be all over the place. And you could see when he turned left, where I turned left, he could have gone right, he could have carried straight on, but the dog actually came up and went in a different direction. So, Right, that's his first little bit of training done. Uh, with them being puppies, you don't want to push them too hard, because they are only kids. You know, they're, just, they're still babies, really. Uh, that are learning to, to grow. Um, I say you, you wouldn't teach a, a young child calculus or things like that right from the start. You've got to start with little steps, which is what we do in here. Everything is little steps building up to the big picture when they're fully trained. So that's why he's going to have a break now and we'll do some more stuff in a little while. Sit. Sit. Back, on, back end on the floor. Thank you. Everything's reward based with them, you see. Yeah. Uh, which is why you get a happy dog. There's none of this forced training, uh, it's all fun. And I say, even on the obedience side of things, which is getting them to walk to heel. Dex! Oh, you've won. <laughs> so we need to teach the dogs to find property. So the next stage is we're going to put four items of property out in a square and uh, Dave's going to work barely around it and see if he can find a property. We initially get them to pick them up but eventually we teach them to not pick them up, we just indicate them. The difference in stuff that he's been finding, uh, we get them to virtually every material, it doesn't matter to him. But uh, you see, a puppy at this stage, you wouldn't want him to be finding uh, a mobile phone that belongs to somebody. I mean, that is ultimate control. <laughs> He's desperate for that. Stay until you get out. Okay. This is uh, Diesel who loves this game. Wants to find, he wants to work. I know we make the ha there. exercises harder and harder and harder, and eventually we want to try and beat the handler. Right <laughs> see if you can beat the handler. Beat the handler. I'm telling you, it's here. It's what you get, you see. It's here. Like it's here. Yeah, Come on. Yeah. Next bit we're going to do is um, how we train dogs to chase people. If we want them to, to detain them, to stop them. Uh, we either want to speak to them or we want to really detain them by the dog taking them out. First stage we always have to teach is to get them to run up to them. When the officer shouts, police officer with the dog, stop, stop, or I'll send the dog. If the person stands still, what you get is a dog run up to them and bark at them and detain them in that area. So we have to get this set in stone before we can teach them to bite because it's far more important that we stop them without the bite because the force is tremendous when we bite. Police dog, stop, stop, I'll send the dog. Police dog, stop, stop, hold him. Okay. 